We've got a new season, Clash from the Past. And it's all pixelated. I love it. Tier 10, you get a... What is that? It's a 16-bit tower. Tier 20, you get a flexing 8-bit barbarian emote. No way. Tier 35 is the common book of cards. New loading screen, too. Here's the arena. It's all like 16 bit so on the bottom it looks like the princess tower has uh, i think a sword or something this looks so out of place because the princess is a full 3d render sitting on a 16 bit tower same with the king you know what'd be cool is if the fire behind was kind of glowing that'd be a nice little touch then in the front i love how there were just wooden towers let's check that out <laughs> I love how a 3D cannon just pops out of this 16-bit tower. Oh, if you look on the bottom, I didn't notice that. What is that? A barbarian hut with the goblin hut? Little archer towers? Even on the top, there's the barbarian hut. I love it. And then there's the arcade tower skin. This one's going to be in the shop. If you buy this using money, be sure to use code OJ. It's probably not that great of a deal. But it's limited and I'm buying it anyways. Oh, look at that. You got a little king on the on the back there. That's funny. I like how 3D and purple it is. This might be one of my favorite tower skins. This might be like one of my forever skins. I really like it. Barbarian back in time. So the barrel travels back. What is that with the flux capacitor? This is in the e-barb challenge. Pixel frenzy. This one's in the barbarian laundry challenge. Power up. That's from the tier. King pixel. This is going to be in the shop. Wait, they're not going to get sued for that. Okay. This one's also going to be in the shop. What? They can't do that, can they? I guess they can. And if you haven't guessed by now, the boosted cards are going to be Barbarians, Barbarian Hut, and Barbarian Barrel. What the frick happened to the Barbarian? What in the world is going on? Ah! Even the icon is 3D. For party mode, we've got CWA's Elite Barbarian Rush. we got Rage Battle, Sudden Death, and with Zach Sparky Duel. August 5th to 1st, we have the Barbarian Launcher with all of these different rewards here. And then the emote at the end. August 6th to 10th, we finally have a CRL challenge. It's going to be a ton of gold all the way up to 20 wins. Just a reminder, for every 16,000 people that enter, only one person hits 20 wins. And if you lose, you can reset, but you go back to zero because this is the CRL challenge. August 11th to 15th is the regular world tournament 16th to 20th cw's e-barb rush challenge and you get the emote at eight wins 21st to 26th we haven't seen the classic dex challenge in a long time and these are all of the rewards 27 to 31st is the rage tournament oh this i love rage and then september 2nd to 4th is the triple lecture challenge yeah what in the world is this barbarian launcher we need to find out is this like mortar but barbarians oh and it costs five elixir <laughs> Oh, that's too good. It actually launched the barbarians. Oh, no way. Oh, that's so good. Did that impact actually hurt it? Oh, my goodness. That's actually kind of low key strong. That's so funny. I feel like it does need to be within range, though, because it just won't launch if nothing's in range. How do you block that with a giant? Oh, my goodness. It just keeps launching. That's obnoxious. <laughs> it's like free barbarians every time it launches. I'm all for it. How many barbarians did that launch? Like five of them? I need to cycle back to my barbarian launcher. That's so funny. Nope. I'm okay with that. Don't launch. Yes! Barbarian launched. What was that impact damage? Was it even any impact damage? Flying machine's not going to stop that. <laughs> okay, I don't think there actually is any impact damage. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. We need to, we need to get back to the barbarian thing. Wait, why did I use that? Just launch those baddies. <laughs> oh! Barbarian connect! Defensive barbarian launcher. Interesting. Huh. That was wild. So this is the barbarian launcher. Two area damage. So it does deal damage, but not much. Honestly, I feel like a Valkyrie is going to do better than an ice golem and better than a knight because you're going to have to tank multiple barbarians. We got earthquake this time. Wait, that was not the play. One zap so the barbarians take it out. Okay. Oh, no. The barbarian deals so much damage when it connects. 800 damage when it connects. Freaking ever. Okay, the Valkyrie connected. We're good, though. Oh, no, that's not bad. I'm back to the barbarian launcher. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, wonderful. It's locked on the tower. 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 Tank with the minions. Three barbarians on the tower is absurd. Oh, that's so good. You need to bring Earthquake. They haven't even seen my power. I don't even know. If they put Mortar over here, then it's fine. Please don't have Zap. Ooh. We're going to let that one barbarian connect. It's fine. Oh, my goodness. Inferno Tower on the Mortar. That's just not even fair. 
It's already connected. Oh. <laughs> the barbarians, they just keep launching. That's obnoxious. I'm going to milk this. I'm going to make so... This is so such a fun card so those were the challenges for the emotes and everything we got the balance changes too and then we've got these 11 balances oh it charges a lot faster now and by a lot it's from 3.5 to 3 tiles so just slightly faster here's the charge 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 yeah no not not enough for tombstone to activate that's a prison here's the charge distance Looks the same to me. Ram Rider's charging faster too. 3.5 to 3 seconds. Are they keeping all the charges consistent? Mega Knight's jump delay. 1.1 seconds to 0.9. So the time he needs to charge is going to be 0.2 seconds faster. Great. He's going to jump faster onto the P.E.K.K.A. He's going to kill himself faster. Executioner. 6.5 tiles to 7.5 tile range. That's extra area denial. His attack range and axe airtime remain the same, though. Okay, so his activation range is the same. And the axe comes back a little bit faster to compensate for that range. So DPS is still going to be the same. That's a massive buff for the Executioner, then. It just gives him extra range. Like, you might be able to hit the King Tower from the bridge. All right, so let's say there's an Executioner there. Right before they cross the bridge. All right, maybe not there. How about here? Yup, right there. Hits the King Tower. That's obnoxiously long. The Ice Golem's Frost Nova. It's going to slow for an extra 0.5 seconds. I mean, if it popped. There we go. So I guess the Ice Golem was rarely used outside of 2.6 decks. So the slow effect is going to last 0.5 seconds longer. Or is that just going to make 2.6 stronger? Fire Spirit's getting a nerf. 9% less damage. 207 at tournament standard. Hands down, it's the best spirit right now. It's still going to kill the goblins. But it's not going to kill the minions. Fireball's getting a nerf. The knockback is reducing from 1.8 tiles to 1 tile. I mean, if they showed us... So there's going to be the knockback. 1 tile. Not much. That's actually a massive nerf. The Golden Knight. Minus 10% health. So it's going to have 1,800 health. It's very subtle, but it's not. That could be a matter of two hits on the King Tower. The Skeleton King is getting another nerf. Max Skeletons from 18 to 16. I think from, what was it, 19 to 18? That wasn't enough. 16 still going to be pretty versatile. Summon it. Let me see them 16 Skelly Boys. Now that's still a Skarmy. Electro Giant's getting a massive nerf. Crown Tower damage minus 33%. Why would you put Inferno Dragon on top of that? That is significantly less. Wow. Oh no, not my boy, the Elixir Golem. Each Golem now gives Elixir. Okay, that's more balanced. So the first one pops, that's one Elixir. But it's still four in total. So that's 0.5. That's 0.5. Oh, it's 0.5 for all of that. That's actually kind of balanced. So it's still four elixir you give them, but it's spread over time. So it's going to be easier to defend the elixir golem. Yes, bring back the battle healers. Only reason the battle healer was nerfed was because the elixir golem was too strong.